Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. My name is Mr. Maxwell, and welcome back to another side quest of our video games. A little bit later on this week, this week, this time, just because work. Uh, times. Work. <laughs> it works. <laughs> um, but, nevertheless, uh, a quick note. Uh, this, is, this is actually before the PlayStation state of play so we will not be mentioning that no because we don't other know than it. other than the fact that there is a state of play there is a state of play we don't know what it's about <laughs> but at least we've got uh, something to talk about next week yeah, yeah. Um, anyway um that'll be my work see I don't want to turn the notifications off because it'll be important because it'll be important but I know if I don't turn them off every no every notification won't be anything important yeah it's hard to yeah so I, I keep it on Anyway, right, unfortunately, because we've been following uh, for the last couple of weeks, uh, the more, continues. more layoffs in the gaming industry, which kind of sucks, and my mic is a little bit off kilter there, I don't like it, it's annoying it's fine. me, there we go. Um, this time with Microsoft, Yay! Activision Blizzard, Microsoft layoff 1,900 Activision Blizzard and Xbox staff. Yes. Um, this co coincides with the rumours that um, Microsoft is looking to be more all digital, digital in, oh, yeah. on the gaming space. Um, well, that rumour's been going around for a while now. Yeah, but the um, layoffs and also the the rumoured layoffs that they've actually given gives more credence to it. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't... I haven't seen the official... Like who's gone from where? Just the number, um, but apparently one of the things, one of the groups that they've literally just completely got rid of is their physical games department. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, all you people that were really happy about the uh, Microsoft X uh, takeover, where are you? Come on, let's hear, let's hear all you, all you people going on about this takeover was best, was was good for the the industry. Where is it? Yeah, no, you're eating some fucking humble pie, aren't you? Um, Microsoft is cutting about 1,900 jobs, Activision Blizzard and Xbox this week, per an internal memo from the head of the company's gaming division. Now, just recently, Microsoft um, basically showed that they'd made a profit of like 69 billion, something like that. So, uh, a a lot of money. A lot of money. But... Not all the money. I mean, Therefore, granted, I've granted they um they laid off they've laid off their staff and then posted their profits. Yes, because they're dickheads. Right. Um, the thing is, is like um, uh, one of the people that have been let go is Mike Yabara. Yep. Uh, who had the audacity on his leaving tweet <laughs> tweet on uh, Twitter uh, to say that he was a uh, he he was uh, was it looking to get together and do something for the industry or something and I'm like I'm sorry mate you're one of the reasons Blizzard is in the shit shape that it is right now <laughs> go f*** yourself I feel sorry for everyone that, that has lost their jobs apart from anyone from the senior management because my fucking god you guys are the reason why that company is in the shit show it is Um. so yeah well, we did say they want to make that sixty-nine billion dollars back. Oh yeah, we well we <coughs> said like the first thing that will happen, yeah, is they will when whenever mergers happen, the first thing that happens once the merger goes through is layoffs. What's what's even worse is that this is not long after Blizzard forced everyone to move to fucking California. Mm -hmm. Last time I checked, California is not the cheapest place to live. In fact, it's ridiculously expensive, absurd, obscenely so. And so, so the reward for a lot of these people who have who were hired during during COVID, hired on a contract that allowed them to work remotely, with a great work life balance, it and then get <clears throat> basically have the rug pulled under them and basically told if you don't come to California, if you don't uproot you and your family. And move them God knows how many miles to California to work at the actual Blizzard office, and they do it, and their reward? Oh, here's your here's your severance. <laughs> yeah. 
Have good luck trying to find a job right now yeah. in, in this industry. Um, good luck. Despite this, Microsoft has uh, just published its earnings earnings report for Q2 of 2024 and has reported record numbers in its gaming division. Fucking <laughs> knobheads. Ah. <laughs> oh. I'm just waiting for the people to try and... Th- I'm, I'm wondering of the... Uh, the, the people that supported this takeover, I am really wondering what mental gymnastics they are currently trying to perform to try and make them, you know, support X Microsoft in this in in this decision. It's a terrible thing. It, we we've said this is what would happen. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the exact videos, but like every time we've talked about it, we've been mentioning when mergers happen, jobs are laid off. And it's never the people at the top. Well, I mean, at least Mikey Barr is one of them. True. But, like, Bobby caught its golden fucking handshake to get rid of... Like, the amount of money they paid Bobby Cop, Bobby fucking arsehole Kotick to leave the fucking company could have easily covered half, at least half of those, those staff. It's like, for the love of fucking God, Microsoft, you own the company now. Just kick him the fuck out. Uh, Microsoft has reported sixty-two billion dollars in revenue, with n- with a net income of twenty-one point uh, yeah. nine yes. billion during Q two, twenty twenty-three. This has put the company at a three trillion dollar market value for yep. the first time. Although its shares are down to zero point two eight percent, currently trading at four hundred and eight dollars at the time of writing. Three trillion dollar company. A three trillion dollar, three trillion dollar company. And Microsoft's gaming division uh, contributed seven point eleven billion to that. That's profit. Yeah, that's not. That's not. Oh, they made seven point. They took in seven point odd million billion dollars. They the, made ga- that the much gaming division profit. alone generated more than Windows on its on its TARD and um, Microsoft Office. Oh no! Just be just behind Microsoft Office. Yes, because uh, because everybody gets Microsoft. Office. My, everyone won, everyone gets Microsoft Office. And Malmake Microsoft Office is a fucking scam because it's a subscription fucking bullshit thing. Um, Microsoft CFO Amy Hood stated that she expects the gaming division to continue to grow following the acquisition of Activ- Activision Blizzard, which will come as a blow to many of the former employees who unexpectedly lost their job earlier this month, despite adding $2 billion in, in revenue for the company. We expect the gaming division to grow! How? You've just fired nearly 2,000 staff! They're, up, they're apparently in some teams that's they've literally lost like 60% of their staff. Mm-hmm. The, it's it. This is like unrecoverable levels of layoffs for certain teams. And you expect the gaming division to grow? What fucking world are you in? What absolute fucking batshit, insane, unrealistic dream world are you in where you think you can lay off 1,900 people and go, yeah, we'll make more money next year? (laughs) Are you fucking high? It's it's Microsoft now. Are you really this dumb or are you just high? It's just Microsoft. That's what they do. They, uh, they, Microsoft are like one of the worst companies. They are. They, they do whatever they want and they get away with it. Yeah. And they always do. Because they have too many. Options. That's why nobody kicks a fuss up about whenever Microsoft do anything shitty. Because it's just like, oh, well, it's Microsoft, they're going to get away with it. Yeah. Sony, on the other hand, oh, God, those, those same people will go down with the fucking hammer on them. Hmm. Not that I'm saying that you should, shouldn't call out the crap that Sony does because they do you do sh- stuff and you should call it out. I'm just yeah. annoyed at the hypocrisy of the fucking defenders of Microsoft who will let Microsoft do so much bullshit, but the moment any other company does it, they instantly go down the throat. Yep. Like, for God's sake, there's only one group that is almost as that is as bad, and that's the ten the 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 the. the Stupid Nintendo fans, who you can't can't say a boo to Nintendo because they will get upset. Oh, I just I'm, I I I am that annoys the fucking hell of me that statement. We expect our gaming division to grow. You fired nineteen hundred people. 
The only way your the only way the gaming division is going to grow in profits is if you release crap. All they have to do is release Call, Call of Duty, and they'll make the money. Yeah, that's it. That's so, why Activision. So, um, anyone hoping Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard would mean Call of Duty is going to be better? Not now. It's not happening because there's no way in hell they're going to actually invest in making a decent Call of Duty game because. Well, basically, they just need to have Warzone mm-hmm. and sell sell skins of people who make no sense being in it mm-hmm. at all, mm-hmm. and yet still claims to be. Oh yeah, we're a super serious shooter with Ariane, Ariana Grande, <laughs> uh, Nicki Minaj, and Nicki Minaj, and uh, don't get don't look. You know, eventually they'll have like Ariana Grande and oh yeah, fucking. Everyone under the sun, because you know Fortnite did it, and that's all they care about. True. True. I'm just. I. It, it is seriously annoyed me. It's... You've literally ruined. Like not only not only the tone of that announcement of yeah, we expect our gaming division to be ba- bigger when you've actually fired a bunch of people, but like. You haven't only, like, fired... You literally fired them 24 hours ago. And also, by the way, the way they did it was complete and absolutely one of the worst ways to do it. Yeah, they didn't actually even tell them, did they? No. People were waking up uh, because there's an Austin studio. Mm. So they basically... The people in the Austin studio found out and people in the California studio were waking up to this news. They didn't get even into the office before they were like, oh, it, am I one of the people let go? Before they found out that, but before they heard the announcement of 1,900 people being let go. Lovely. That's nice of them. And, I, and people, people defend this company. People defend Microsoft. Yeah. People say Microsoft is good for the gaming industry. Is it? Fuck. <laughs> if it was good for the industry, Halo Infinite would be better. If it was good for the industry, Gears of War would be better. If it was good for the industry, Starfield would have been better. And Redfall would have been cancelled. Yeah. All Microsoft cares is doing fuck all and taking money. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. They care about buying out the competition. Yes. That's what they care about. Yes, but taking money to buy out the competition and doing fuck all to take that money. Yeah. Because they're a hands-off kind of ownership. <laughs> no, it's... You I, don't like, have I do like that. We're, we're, we're very hands-off. That just tells me that you don't know what you're doing. Either A, you don't know what the fuck you're doing, <laughs> or B, you don't give a shit about what you're doing. So, you know... Pick one. I'll be generous. Pick one. Which one is it? Are you incompetent or just don't give a shit? Mm. Um, but yeah, Microsoft. We said this would happen. Yeah. We said this would happen. This is what would happen. And all those fucking fans that were going nuts about the takeover and saying, oh, this is great. I'm loving it. Yay. I'm going to drink the tears of the Sony fanboys. Fuck off. Where are you now? Where are you? <laughs> well, they're not gonna. They're not gonna criticize Microsoft. Of course not. Don't be daft. Why would they criticize Microsoft? Yes. Why would they criticize the, the the company that actually doesn't know they exist? Yeah. Oh, I'm. I'm so. I'm so pissed off because, not just because of, it's just just the way they've done it. The way they've done it. The timing and the fact that like they haven't even like it. It seems so like. There's no rhyme or reason as to who's been let loose. It's just literally fucking names in a dartboard. Mm. Like, time at the company means jack shit. What you've done at the company means jack shit. Doesn't, didn't have, doesn't have any effect on whether you stayed or not. You're, if you were uniquely skilled at something in the company, didn't matter. So, yeah, anyone who was thinking that Microsoft's gaming games were going to have a significant improvement in quality yeah that's not happening now well they probably will no they won't but I, it won't be down how? to Microsoft how 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 are they going to improve no what I'm saying is it won't be down to Microsoft yeah the quali- yeah but the thing is though they've just literally gutted Activision Blizzard which is one of the companies that needed to improve 
Yeah. And they've literally just gutted that company. I was just on about the games that we know are coming. Like right now. Like um, Hellblade 2, uh, that Bioshocky Time 1. Um, I mean, I think the quality of, will be there, but I don't think the quality will be down. Will be thanks to Microsoft. No. By the way, the things look, it's not Microsoft who are do, doing the quality control. Oh, no. Games. And no. I mean, Redfall just showed. Actually, Starfield is a prime example that Microsoft are not doing any Qu- quality, quality control. control. No. To the games, even if, like you can use the excuse of "oh, well, we're a hands-on company." You're the fucking publisher. Your name's on it, and also you keep going on about how great these games are. It's your, it's you're the publisher. It's your job to make the, sure the quality is good. Before the, it goes the, out. the thing is, is like there were there, there were so many people saying, "Oh yeah, Microsoft take over and Overwatch Two will be improved and Diablo Four will be improved and Call of that, Duty that was, was never gonna happen." And I'm like. No, they're not. They don't give a shit. All they care about is the money Call of Duty is breaking in, and that's it. They don't get everything else is just bonus. A- everything else is literally, honest to God, they they could they could have a catastrophic event in World of Warcraft where the servers die in, and people can't get on for a month, and Microsoft will literally, literally be there going, "Well, we're a hands-off company. We want them to help them be able to work it out themselves." <laughs> You've got like a trillion servers. You're a three trillion dollar company. Do something, but that would mean we would have to spend our three trillion dollars, and we wouldn't no longer be a three trillion dollar company anymore. And we kind of like that title. Yes, I know it means that the money's literally sitting there doing nothing, fuck all, and absolutely is actually worthless now because we're not touching it. But we're still classed as a three trillion dollar company, and we like that title. Mm. Does it make sense? No. Do we care? No, because we are a three trillion dollar company. Mm-hmm. Gotta love them. Gotta oh, love yeah. the games industry. <laughs> the game industry deserves to have a crash. It will do, unfortunately. I don't uh, think we're coming into one. Big time. Uh, moving on, we have... Well, um, obviously... Uh, oh, what the, Embracer Group. That's, the Embracer Group! Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, they did uh, a lot of uh, gutting and lay- yeah, layoffs. Yeah, because they bloated so badly, they needed to. they basically could not afford the bloat. <sighs> um, unfortunately, one of the uh, some of the collateral, de- well, some of the damage from the uh, whole layoffs and all that is that um, they've had to cancel some of the games. One of them being the Deus a, a possible, a rumored by the way, a possible new Deus, Deus Ex game. Game, which is sucks because I love that game. <laughs> Deus, yeah, Deus Ex is, um, it deserves. Better, yeah. Better recognition, and also it does. If it, it, there is one of the few series that hasn't had a third game, the, the DSX series. Does it had a third game, didn't it? No, right. Yeah, well, technically, had a fourth game, but you had uh, the, there was the original DSX. Yeah. Then there was um, a second DSX, which no one talks about. Right. Um, then there was human. Re- the then there was the new DSXs. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which uh, what was it first the I can't remember what the first new one was, but then there was the Human Revolution. Yeah. Um, and then we've had nothing since. Hmm. And I'm like, good games, by the way. They are. They're fun. They're, are they? Are they? You know, they're not. I wouldn't say they're to the co- the caliber of the first Deus Ex game. No, because the first Deus Ex game is lightning in a bottle. Yes. Yeah. I think um, very professional, by the way. Um, I do think they're still good games. I think. You can have a lot of fun with them, and just for just for the basic of like choice of how, yeah. what things to do. It was, it did a lot of good things. Mm. Good. It just wasn't. Um, it's it, a, it's it's one of those games that has kind of always. I've always wanted a third third one. Yeah. For the for the new, I've always wanted a third one. Uh, yeah, the second one, the second one was that bad. It was. <laughs> It needed a reboot. I didn't mind the second one, though. No, no, no. I'm on about like the original. Oh, the original. One. Yeah, I needed a reboot. Um, <laughs> but the the new ones, like I've, I enjoyed both of them. I know that the second one didn't get as rave reviews as the first. The first, yeah. let's say reboot. Let's say reboot. Basically, that's what it is. It's yeah. a reboot. Um, but this this kind of sucks. But it's also not surprising, given the amount of layoffs. 
Yeah. That they had this was this was always going to happen. That games were just going to get cancelled. Yeah, because to, the, the teams know, that were they've work got on. No, nobody working on the game anymore. Yeah, <laughs> they've they fired so many people that they've got no one working on it. And this is what I mean when they say like when it feels like the the layoffs haven't had. There's been no plan or thought. They've just literally took names from a ball a mm. list and just gone. Oh, all these people are fired. Mm. Are they important? I don't know, but they're fired anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's a I, shame. This is what happens. This is what happens when people who are not involved in the actual creation of games is put in charge of companies that make games. This is what happens because they don't know how firing a whole bunch of people will affect the game's production. Hmm. And then six months down the line, they'll go, "Well, why is this game all of a sudden making really pro- struggling in pro- progressing?" Why? Why is it slowed down? You fired a bunch of people. Well, that uh, that doesn't matter. It does. It's actually the, a very, very <laughs> Im- important reason. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's have a look. Uh, we. I mean, we did mention when Embrace were buying all these companies. We were worried that they were buying too many. They were growing yeah. too big. I mean, I said the same about Microsoft. I still think. I still think they sh- they. They've bought too many companies because they haven't let all the ones they bought before even fucking um, they bought Bethesda. Bethesda haven't released all their games yet. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, just 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 cool the fuck down. Mm-hmm. I know you want Call of Duty, but what happens if Call of Duty bombs? And guess what happened? <laughs> Call of Duty Three came out. It bombed. Why? Because the campaign shit. And the only thing that's bringing money in is Warzone. And you get that for fucking free. Yeah, but now that, that money goes directly to Microsoft. I know. So, so they don't care. They don't, oh, no, anyway, they don't back care. To, back to this. Uh, and Battle Gaming Company Embrace Group has cancelled an in-developed Juice X game that Edios Montreal was working on, according to a new report from Bloomberg. The untitled and unannounced RPG was reportedly in pre-production for two years and was set to enter production later this year. An anonymous source told Bloomberg that the last Deus Ex game was 2016's Mankind Divided. Ah, yeah, that was the second one. Um, The cancellation comes not long after Swedish conglomerate snatched up a bunch of publishers and studios, failed to secure a $2 billion deal and subsequently laid off nearly 5% of its workforce. And according to Bloomberg, more layoffs could be hitting idios in the wake of the juice x game cancellation oh yes we're gonna cancel a game without we don't need this many people we're gonna find more people yeah pretty much oh the other game they're working on is all of a sudden stop stop production why is that well you find a bunch of people oh we'll have to fire more people this is this is this this is how stupid the fucking triple a game industry is this this is the level of fucking uh, and these these ceos and board of directors think they deserve their fucking ridiculous Multi but, fucking but million dollar they, paychecks they, and that, but they got the they got the profits that they that they were supposed to get. Of course, they get their bonuses. You don't, 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 do you not understand that that's how it works? It doesn't what? matter. It doesn't matter how they get the money. Yeah, as long as they how get the they money. reach the profit margin, as long as they reach that profit margin, and that's the problem with management. Yes, for a lot of places. That's not just the game. Oh industry. yeah, that's a that's a problem with a lot of companies, a lot of corporations. They they don't actually care about how they reach that target. Yeah. As the long as they reach that target, the, and they they get the problem bonus. is is that eventually that tactic stops working because you cut so much <sighs> that you end up actually not making any money at all because mm-hmm. you can't produce anything, mm-hmm. and then you just have a bunch of CEOs and executives in an office where the factory is empty. Because there's no... you fired everyone. And then you look at it and go, well, why are we no longer producing... Why are we no longer producing a product? <laughs> what's, what's happened? Well, you fired everyone. Did we? Yes. Because you're too fucking stupid to actually understand how the product's fucking made. You fucking idiots. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Lovely time. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's a lovely time to be in the gaming industry right now, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, I, I do hope a lot of them find. I do, I do, but the problem is, is like, the industry is. Um, what you speaking of, which, um, just to uh, just a, a little side note, just because we're talking about layoffs, um, it'd be nice just to talk about something that. So the 
the old owners of Remedy, the, the ones that made Batman, the Batman Arkham series. Ah, oh, um, Rocksteady. Rocksteady, that's the one. Um, they have uh, formed a new studio. Yes. Good. Great. Fantastic. Which means they're not under Warner Brothers anymore. Good. Which is nice. Um, Speaking of... <laughs> Suicide Squad sucks. Do not buy it. <laughs> it shits on everything Rocksteady if has you, ever built. If you enjoyed Arkham, the Arkham games, do not play Suicide Squad. It literally just takes that, those, that game series, the legendary characters and everything and just takes a massive dump on it because it's not made by the people that the actual people that are making the Suicide Squad game because heaven forbid someone have someone has made a character more popular than yours and therefore you have to ruin them can everyone just stop being so petty it's not even that it's just it's it's not it's not petty. It's ego. Yeah, it's 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 ego that they've got. They think that their their version of Harley Quinn, which by the way, because this is Arkham, right? This Harley Quinn should be the same Harley Quinn that's at the end of uh, Arkham City. Yeah. Which, if you haven't played the DLC for Arkham City, which is Harley Quinn's Revenge, um, she's not the happy-go-lucky, wisecracking one that she is when she's Harlequin with the Joker. She's very very like I'm going to kill Batman because he, he killed, killed the Joker. Because the Joker's dead and he killed him. I bl- I, I'm blaming the Batman for the death of the Joker and I'm going on a revenge arc and I don't care. This is not a happy la la la. Yeah. La, revenge and arc. This, no, this is a blood guts and I'm going to kill you. Revenge arc. This Harley Quinn it, it just no. It's, well no because it's it's, it's 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 the movie Harley Quinn. It's the Suicide Squad yeah. movie Harley Quinn. Yeah. And I'm like, well, if you're going to do that, just fucking set it in that universe then. Why are you using the fucking Arkham series universe? You f- Like, what's the point? Also, the news that, oh, yeah, we're going to have a Joker DLC in the Arkham series. It's an Elseworld Joker. So it's then, not, it's then not what, Mark Hamill. Then what's the fucking point of mm-hmm. setting it in the Arkham series universe. Mm-hmm. There is no point. Your car- the your Harley Quinn is not the Harley Quinn from the Arkham series. Like what you just basically ripped her from the fucking movies. Mm-hmm. Which is not a bad thing, but when you decide to take set it in a universe that already fucking exists with that character already existing and, and want us to believe it to be that character, you need to actually understand how that character works in that universe. Well, also, it doesn't make much sense because Deadshot's black. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's white. because he's I, white. You, you see him in... Arkham City. Arkham City. So it, he's a white guy. That's, a long, that's not me saying that Deadshot should be white or black. I'm just saying, like, this is not the Deadshot you showed us uh-huh. in the Arkham City. So how can you tell us that this is the same universe? It can't be. It doesn't make sense. But yeah, so the we've got the canonical uh, ending of Arkham of Batman. Arkham Batman. And it's not great. It's not great. It's probably... I mean, to be honest, all of them aren't great. The only one that gets a semi-decent um, ending is Wonder Woman. But she's the only one that's not... Hasn't been turned. That hasn't been turned. Everyone else goes out like a fucking chump. Yeah. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? This is the, like, the, be- the greatest of the greatest in the Justice League. See, I can't do it. I can't do it because like my brain is just like because I know what these characters can do for the, like the superheroes and that like you can, there's not a possible way you can make me believe that King Shark Deadshot Captain Boomerang and Harley Quinn kill The Flash Green Lantern ba- Superman, Superman and Batman I mean hell hell just Superman <laughs> Just Superman alone. You, there's, there's not a possible way I mean, you can make yes. me believe. Apparently there is Kryptonite involved and Wonder Woman, but I'm still like, you don't understand like 
how they've built Superman. <laughs> yeah. Like, Superman... Right, so if you've ever... I mean, you literally just have to look at Injustice. Right? The, uh, uh, the Injustice comics. There is literally nobody that can take Superman on. They have to get Superman... To fight Superman. Yeah. <laughs> they literally had to get Superman to fight Superman. <laughs> and you, you, uh, you're, you're expecting me to believe that a evil Superman... Who has? Who, by the way, when he's because he's a hero, he limits himself to what he. Yeah, how a, much a, how much strength he actually uses there's a, when he there's fights. A fa- there's a there's a really popular scene in when he's fighting Darkseid in the uh, Justice League animated series, mm. where he basically goes on about the fact that oh, I'm glad you've showed up because I don't have to hold back against you. Do you know what I have to do to actually not kill anyone here? <laughs> I have to pull everything. I have to go half-hearted into things because if I if I hit if I hit anyone with full power, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even dead. They they cease to exist. I understand the power I have is that I am able to vaporize people with my fist. <laughs> and you come along and I'm able to just punch you full force. Did you, this is this is exhilarating. And again, you expect me. To expect me that to believe that those four those villains who are going to kill him, who even DC hardcore fans will admit they are the B class villains, because that's what the Suicide Squad is. You don't get Joker, you don't get Mister Freeze, you don't get Lex Luthor, although he was in for a little bit, but that's not that's not the point. You don't get the top tier A list villains in the Suicide Squad. Why? Well, because you don't need them. Because you don't need them. They don't need to be in the Suicide Squad. They don't need to work with other people. Raz al Ghul does not work with other people. He tells other people what to fucking do. Uh, I know uh, we've gone on a tangent here. It is a bit of a tangent, but it's about the Suicide Squad and the fact that I, like, I was interested in the story. And then I it was, was like, yeah, was we're actually killing them. And I'm like... I was a bit worried. When they were like, oh yeah, we're definitely we're actually killing them. I was like, okay, right. They're, they're, they've got to be doing some sort of like... Tom foolery here. We're getting we're getting switched up. They're not actually going to kill because it makes no sense. Kill. It doesn't make any sense to actually like, do that. Anyone that actually understands the world of superheroes and especially DC understands the abilities of Flash, Superman, Batman, and um, Green Lantern. We understand what these people can do. And nine times out of ten, these people will be holding apart from Batman because Batman doesn't need to hold back. He's only a human being. But anyway, um, but like Green Lantern will be holding back. Flash will be holding back because, you know, civilians are around. I don't want to end up hurting someone. Mm. Superman, because, you know, if I just accidentally go full power for half a second, 90% of the people in my vicinity will be dead. <laughs> if I sneeze in the wrong direction yeah. at full power, I'll d- d- decimate an entire block. Half a city block. <laughs> half half a city <laughs> will be just gone. <laughs> right? These are the pi- and And you expect us with Captain Boomerang. And Deadshot. Deadshot, whose whose main skill is just stupidly accurate, mm. which is a good skill, but it's like it's it's not gonna it's, it's not, not really gonna, gonna do much against you when you're gonna, fighting Superman. When you're fighting Green Lantern, who can just summon a fucking shield in front of him by just thinking it. Harley Quinn. Who's Harley Quinn? Who's Harley Quinn? She doesn't have anything. She actually doesn't have anything. Yeah, she's. I, you could argue that we could possibly give her the power of cartoons. Yeah. But no. <laughs> and the only one that is, has any inkling of a hint, hint of a hope is King Shark because he is technically a demigod. He's yeah, he's technically a demigod. Te- technically a demigod. I think he's pretty much the same as Wonder Woman. Yeah. The problem is with King Shark is that Superman is basically a god. Well, you know, he's in DC. He's been, he's or he's stronger than the gods. Yeah, he he he's literally gone up to like Zeus and uh, other other pantheons and told them, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> so you don't mess with me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with the human race. Because if you mess with the human race, you're messing with me, and things will go badly. It's just, oh, uh, it's just. Oh God. I I was expecting them to basically to at some point to go to basically something to happen and then you kill Brainiac yeah and then they all and I'm, I'm like 
That has to be the thing because they ne And th another point is like, that means you're basically given an end point. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you do afterward? After what? What? What happens next? Yeah, who's who's? who's what do you do? Like, they, they this was clearly set out as a live fucking service. So what next? Because you've killed off the three, the four biggest threats, and Brainiac. Because I imagine Brainiac will be the one they kill at the very end. Mm -hmm. yeah, here's the thing. I, I, with that, oh, it's suicide could kill. So we kill the Justice League. Do you honestly expect me to believe? That the Suicide Squad are going to go up against Darkseid. <laughs> is, is that what you want me to do? Because <laughs> do you honestly think the League of Assassins are going to be scared of the Suicide Squad? No. Does they look at it and go, "Oh, this is a perfect opportunity. Let's go and nuke M Metropolis." I mean, you're doing Razal Ghul a favor. Oh, he's, yeah. he's been wanting to nuke Gotham for <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for centuries, centuries now, and he's finally got a chance to do it. <laughs> Like the entire. I mean, although to be fair, would you not be pissed if you were Ra's al Ghul? You'd be like, "Oh yeah, no, no." I've been I would, trying I would... to kill Batman for years, and this fucking little <laughs> this fucking jester. I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. Oh yeah. Oh no. The thing is, oh, you, we all know, right? The first thing that will happen is Ra's al Ghul will find out Batman is dead. Be slightly relieved that he's finally dead. But also the very, thing. very pissed that it wasn't him that did it. Here's the other thing. We also, because of the Arkham games, we've established that Robin is a person. Nightwing exists. Yeah. Batgirl exists. Um, I'm pretty sure Oracle exists. Yeah, so why didn't they do anything? Right? So, yeah. One, why didn't they do anything? But secondly, like, you're going to kill Batman. You're going to have the entire Bat family after you. Now the Bat family is going to be... And uh, number one, Jason Todd doesn't care <laughs> <laughs> if uh, he kills people. The only reason why he doesn't is because Bruce. So now you've taken that away. Yeah. Um, and it's not like Nightwing you... and uh, Robin are going to be able to like hold Jason Todd back now. No. So Jason <laughs> Todd is literally going for your ass. And um, yeah... <laughs> He, he, he and number don't, one, he don't pull number pull so, Harley Quinn's fucked because Jason Todd wants to get rid of the Joker and anything associated with the Joker. Which, so Harley Quinn's fucked. Yeah. Uh, King Shark's probably going to be fucked because let's let's be honest, Aquaman's a thing, and you just killed his best. You killed one of his best friends in Green Lantern. So, well done, King Shark's fucked. Aquaman is another one that Deadshot's probably the only one that's probably going to get away because he's well, he's a merc. He, one, he's a merc, and quite frankly, nobody gives a shit about Deadshot. No one has ever given a shit about Deadshot. Yeah. I like, um, I've always liked his costume, but like, yeah, I understand why people don't don't really care. And um, Captain Boomerang, Captain Boomerang, you've just fucked the planet because the only person holding the Reverse Flash back was the Flash. Yeah. Also, um, the Reverse Flash would have enjoyed. Killing I know we sound like giant nerds right now. But I we do are. Do, I know, I do know we sound like giant nerds. I am prefacing this, but this is just this. Th there has been no thought. I refuse to believe there's been any thought into, like, what's next. Also, also, I know someone will probably think, yeah, but you've just given out the what's next. I'm like, yes. The problem is, is that they're not heroes that are going to come for these people. Yeah. <laughs> they're the villains. <laughs> More importantly, villains that are bigger, badder, and worse than the villains that you've... Than, than you've, just killed, yeah, well. you've just killed Superman. Darkseid's now looking at fucking Earth like, well, my biggest obstacle's out the fucking way now. I'm just going to pop down. <laughs> if anyone says, what about Supergirl? Supergirl gets her ass kicked by Darkseid regularly. For yeah, a reason. Su Supergirl. Supergirl is not as powerful as Clark because she's not been on Earth as long as Clark. Huh? Yeah. And Darkseid, Darkseid is just stupidly powerful. He's, he's broken in every possible way. Like, the very fact that, <laughs> like, like, like Nerd law, DC nerd law. Dark the but the the thing you see is dark side is not actually his true form. He is that powerful that he is, lives in a pocket dimension of some sort. Yes, because if he actually lived in the in the, the real world, he would destroy everything by just being there. Mm -hmm. That is how powerful dark side is. <laughs> I just wish he had a better name. I'm trying to think like what the, right so look, what villains are you going to bring in? Because, like you said, you can't bring in the big bad ones. Because, like, I mean, I suppose you could have General Zod. Yeah, but again, yeah, again, the problem is, like, you've just lost Wonder Woman. 
Yeah. Probably the only person that could have gone toe to toe with General Zod, lose, but you know that's because General Zod is a Kryptonian. You've also killed uh, <laughs> Superman, so you so know. you know who's gonna fight Zod. The other thing is, the other thing is, is like General Zod, though he didn't like Superman, Superman was still Kryptonian, and General Zod is very, very protective. Of Kryptonians. Of Kryptonians. So, so whereas he didn't like Clark, it was still sort of like... Well, I need well, him he's for the... Continu- Kryptonian. He's he, I need him for the continuation of our race. Like, I can't just kill him. Yeah. You've just literally threatened the... F- the f- you've threatened the existence of the Kryptonian he's race. He's not going to be... He's not going to be... He's not going to just join the Suicide Squad and be like, you know what, I know you killed possibly our only chance of getting Kryptonian race back up to, <laughs> up to snuff, but like... Oh, yeah, I'll You know what? Put it there, bro. <laughs> And again, like, they go on, uh, yeah, again, like, oh, but that could be what's next. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. It makes, no, because the, even though, even though they were controlled by Brainiac, blah, 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 mm. blah all, that, all that shit, right? They would have still been part of them fighting the control because of who they are. They are mm. the heroes. They will always fight that sort of thing. Even if, you know, they are, they can't control what they do, they will still try and fight it where they can. And Zod has no 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 hung hang ups on decimating half a city to conquer it. <laughs> Raz Al Ghul's whole shit stick is I'm just gonna burn this down to the ground so it rebuilds itself. So he doesn't care about nuking a nuking a city and the collateral damage. He doesn't care about collateral damage. Like no one none of these people that we've mentioned care about collateral damage. So you're you're talking about like you like King Shark and the Suicide Squad have no they have no advantages anymore. Mm. They have no they have no comebacks. They have no cards. They have nothing against these people. And uh it's like, like it, ma- the, it makes no logical sense for for the Suicide Squad to because we all know it was originally designed as a lunar shooter live service that's what it was meant to be and that's probably when the story was made which meant that the story would have had some sort of like continuation and now but there's there's just no logical like next step yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's like, well, where do you, where do you go now? Once you, you beat Brainiac, you don't go anywhere. You've, you've killed the you've killed the Justice League, and so so what now? You can't expect me to believe that. Like I said, the Suicide Squad. Do you say, think? Do you honestly think Lex Luthor's not going to take the opportunity that's in front of him? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get Lex Luthor as a character. I know. Yeah, I we'll guarantee be. we'll get Lex Luthor in his green mech suit. Uh, the problem. <laughs> Again, the, the problem is, is, like, Lex Luthor will not be carrying a gun. Well, we've established this. We've we established that most of the people in, uh, in, in the Suicide That have squad been members would of the not Suicide Squad would not use guns. Like, oh, Unless gosh. they're ridiculous guns. Hence Harley Quinn and her giant revolver. But that's not even in the fucking game. No, because, no, game. because everyone has to be able to use the same guns. Mm-hmm. Because, because Luthor Shooter. Like, as much as I like Bane, and I'm pretty sure Bane will be one of the characters that... That, that they bring in I'm pretty sure of it right as much as I like Bane like Bane will never touch a gun because you've set the bar so high for the, the who the villain is with with uh, Brainiac right yeah <laughs> who who the fuck is Bane gonna fight like Bane's not gonna go up against like General Zod no General Zod will literally break him in two like, it's just oh my god You've just you've not they've not thought about this properly. So what? The people what? who have written this story have generally one they've not read they've not read they've not I don't I refuse to believe they've played the Arkham games. No. And two, I refuse well, to believe that any of them understand the actual uh, implications implications of killing the Justice League. Given that the because if Brainiac's around, Dark Side's around. Yes. And if Dark Side's around, there's other things. Also, that you are know, around. like we said, if Flash is around, Reverse Flash is around. Is around. If Batman's around, Razal Ghoul's around. Yeah. The Bat Family's around. Yeah. Superman. If Superman's around, Doomsday is a thing. Doomsday. Yeah. Who the fuck's gonna stop Doomsday now? No one. 
Doomsday's just going to show up and wreck everything. Because Why? Because it's fucking Doomsday. They, they literally made Doomsday to kill Superman. That's not a joke. That was literally the thing. <laughs> yeah. Of why Doomsday was created. Like, Doomsday was created because, um, at the time, they were planning on basically finally making, uh, in the comics, having Lois and Clark marry. But, the adventures of Superman started. And they signed a deal where they wouldn't do the marriage until Lois and Clark in the C- TV series got married. married. And that was going to be like two, three years down the line. And they were like, well, what the fuck are we going to do for two, three years? And someone in the someone in the room went, why don't we just kill him? <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad And it went off, and, and that was where the death of Superman started. Mm-hmm. And you get Doomsday and all that. And, so, and I'm, we're going on a massive tangent. But again, it's like, we're trying to point out like how much this fucking plot line in the game makes no fucking sense. Right? Um, in any, any it, sort of it's thing. Just, the, if the Green Lantern the Green Lantern's dead right which means one we need a new Green Lantern but we killed our own Green Lantern you, do you actually think the Green Lantern car are just going to go oh well here's another one it yeah. doesn't work like that no. secondly if Green Lantern's a thing it means the Orange Lantern is a thing the Red it Lanterns. means the Red Lanterns are a thing which if they show up we're fucked we're fucked uh, the, the, ar- um, yellow, the yellow Lanterns are which a thing which means Sinestro which means Sinestro's fucking like oh my god I've got, I can just take over Earth it's <laughs> great you, what you think, Martian Manhunter and Cyborg are going to be able to handle everybody else, do you? Oh my no, God. because you're going to fucking have them be turned by somebody, and we're going to have to kill them. Don't give them as idea. much as I like Martian Manhunter because Martian Manhunter is amazing, but like he's not the he's strongest. a changeling. He's, he's not the strongest. He's not the strongest, and Cyborg is Cyborg. Yeah, <laughs> Cyborg goes through pe- periods of being cool amazing quite powerful but not you know top tier and basically being the punching bag that shows how much of a threat the big bad is <laughs> that, that gonna... is literally cyborg all the time it's, i feel sorry for the guy at times like, are we gonna get um what teen titans are they gonna fucking step up <laughs> which teen titans and which, which titans are we gonna get the titans or, or the teen titans are we gonna or is damien a thing because we don't know about damien in the arkhamverse because I, I think Talia's dead. Talia, no, Talia is not dead. Ah, Ra's al Ghul possibly could be dead mm. in the Arkhamverse, because obviously what happens at the end of Arkham City. Yeah. But Ra's al Ghul has died like seventy-two thousand yeah, times. Yeah, there's a there's a resurrection <laughs> stuff. Also, you know, Jason Todd got revived by one of them, so the resurrection chambers are a thing. Yeah, um, like they you you've just written. A this, story. This is this without is, knowing about the characters that you're writing about. Yeah, and then and this is the thing you've written yourself into such a corner now, like you can't go anywhere. Wonder Woman. Yeah. Fucking Ares, the god of war, is you know his he just constantly wants to cause war, and the only reason why he hasn't been constantly doing it is because you know Wonder Wonder Woman and stops him. Puts also, him in check. also Ares goes from hating Wonder Woman to wanting him her to be his wife. And you've just took that away from him. And Ares is the god of war. Uh, did I mention he's a god? <laughs> With all the omnipotent godly powers that gods have. Hmm. Did, 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 did we forget to mention that? No, no, no. It's just like you... Uh, you, you this, is, this, is a, this is a narrative corridor that they've got into that has a dead end that has nowhere to go. Which means that... I like, don't... Like... I like the idea of the name being Kill the Justice League, of where it's like, oh, you're going to kill the Justice League. and But actually what it is, is you're getting crisscrossed, you actually have to save them. Yeah. Because, like I said, I've said this when it was announced, like, there's no way these four could possibly kill Superman. There, no. There's not, there's, there is not a believable way you could get, I you mean, could tell be, me. I'll be honest, there's not a believable way, there's not a believable way for them to kill the Flash. Hmm. There's not a believable way for them to kill because we're talking about Barry Allen Flash. Hmm. Barry Allen's Flash is so smart that he's actually thinks faster than the fastest supercomputer ever created by man, and will still be faster in thinking when we fi- when we make even faster supercomputers. Hmm. Barry Allen is like one of the smartest people on the planet, and also is literally the Speed Force. Yeah, like 
there, there, there has been so little actual thought of implement implementation. I think in this whole. I think plot. they've just gone. We're gonna kill. We're them. gonna kill the Justice League because it'll be cool. Yeah, and not actually thought about the actual permutations of killing them, and also of actually what these characters, if they were made evil, what they would do. Yeah. They go. Oh well, Batman would just kill people. No, you don't. You don't fucking understand. Batman doesn't play chess. Batman plays four D, Death Valley, um, tsunami tactics. <laughs> like he plays a futuristic game of strategy that hasn't been invented yet. Batman is um, is Lionel Johnson from Warhammer. Yeah, that's Batman. Batman, the, the man with a plan, of a plan, of a plan. Batman, Batman has five plans. And those plans lead to seven plans. And those pl- those seven plans lead to the cold death of the universe. Because Batman will have thought of that. Why? Because the plot fucking demands it. <laughs> it's, it, uh, it makes no sense. It's a massive rant about the Suicide Squad, which we both said we probably w- we shouldn't talk about. I this didn't is want why. to do it. I didn't want to do it because this is why. Cause this I, is why. We would end up on a giant-ass tangent of why a- the actual... F- killing of this Justice League is a bad terrible plot device that shouldn't be done because it makes no sense and has the permutations that no one can actually do justice to well yeah because there's too many there's too many consequences yeah that because if you kill the Justice League like you you now have to take on their responsibility yes yeah. also <laughs> well, so so in gaming terms this is literally cre- this is literally God of War 3 hmm. Kratos killing like Hera and everything, all the plants dying and killing um, uh, Poseidon, Poseidon. and, and the, the seas swallowing the land. Mm. This is literally that. At least God of War three, which was on the fucking PS three, yeah. that long ago. That's long, how long ago we're talking about. Um, did the whole thing of like, yeah, there are consequences to doing this. You could do this, but there are consequences mm. to it. Oh, I just, I'm just. Oh, it's like. You had such a good, cool concept. You had a cool concept of being like the Suicide Squad is a cool concept. It's you a really be good the, be the villain and all that sort of thing, and you don't have to be like so goody two shoes. But like, uh, you just anyway. I, I, th- I think we should move on. <laughs> we should move. We're, on. we're getting very, very better. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, right. Uh, Spec Ops the, the line. The line. It is no longer on um, a PS3 and Xbox 360 storefronts. Yeah, the game that that people complained that it was anti-war, that it was it made it made them feel feel bad about killing people, mm. the, which was actually the entire point of the game. Mm. <laughs> like there, people people have made like um, um, essays essays on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people have made essays on this. On this, like Spec Ops: The Line, gameplay wise, it was okay, but it had one of the best moral, um, like questions, of like that's ever been done in a game, mm. because it it literally went, yeah, war's fucking hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you may think it's all cool and great and everything, but it's actually. Fucking shit for everyone involved. Like there, there was no good guy. There was no bad guy. There was no like everything is just terrible. Everything is hell. Everything makes you feel sick to your stomach. And yeah, war is something we should not glorify. Mm. Uh, and the people who own the rights to it have decided to pull that game. <laughs> From stores. Uh, yep. Acclaimed uh, third person shooter that launched back in 2012 on Xbox 360. PS3 consoles has now been renewed, removed from digital stores without any warning. On a long enough timeline, it seems that many games from yesterday, yesteryear end up getting delisted from storefronts for one reason or another. Oftentimes, these rules have to do with licensing agreements that have since eventually expired. Now, another such instance of this has transpired, this time with Spec Ops The Line. As of today, Spec Ops The Line has been taken off both PlayStation Store and Xbox Microsoft Store, uh, delisted from Steam, so you can't even... You can't even get it on Steam. can't even get it on Steam, which raised concerns about the same thing eventually happening to the game's console version in short order. 
uh, publisher 2K get 2K oh, man. games that that this would be happening as partnership licenses associated with Spec Ops have since run their course meaning that the title can no longer be sold and this is a this is an industry that wants everyone to go digital mm -hmm. this is an industry that wants everyone to go digital because then they can basically say well you paid us $70 for this but you don't actually own it mm -hmm. we can just take it away from you whenever we fucking want why mm -hmm. because we're the triple gaming you know, where they, want, you know where they want to go digital yeah go mods on. yeah mods they're going to start charging for people to make mods. Probably. That's what they'll do. Yeah, because they'll they'll they'll, they'll charge like the source. Because code. it's a subscription. If if you have to play subscription, so say Xbox Game Pass. Yeah. Because you can get it on the PC. Yeah. Right. They'll do it in a way so that you can only play that game via that subscription, which means you have to, you'll have to, if you want to make a mod for it, you've got to do something with that subscription. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that's. They're aiming for the PC market. I th I think uh, it's the whole thing of uh, you don't actually own your your things oh, yeah. you pay for. That's that, no, that's what they're going to use as justification to do it. Yeah. Well, you don't actually own it. You've just paid. You just pay your subscription. Yeah. Ah, uh, the AAA game industry. You are literally one of the worst in the world. Mm -hmm. The only way you could be worse is if you're the music industry. <laughs> Because that thing, that, that industry, is a shit. <laughs> um, people who have purchased the game can still download and play the game uninterrupted. 2K would like to thank our community of players who have supported the game, and we look forward to bringing you more offerings from our label throughout this year and beyond. You haven't made a Spec Ops game since the line. What are you on about? I just... I, I'm sorry. Oh, just let this corporate speak it just infuriates me it really does it, and it's like do you not understand the words coming out of your fucking mouth do you not understand the words you're typing onto a screen what garbage is this please tell me it was an AI please because at least I'd go well of course it sounds like a fucking gobbled puke of corporate corporate nonsense fucking AI made it like please tell me because like I, I'm beginning to, like human beings should not be able to make crap like that because it makes no fucking sense mm -hmm. none whatsoever it does not it's like you, either you, you've proven my point that you have no indi no knowledge or actual connection or actual intelligent thought about the industry you're fucking in or you're just fucking high <laughs> I'm gonna go with high I hope well. Yeah. No, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with both. Yeah, probably both. <laughs> I'm gonna go with both. Oh, it's just like I just, I just really. <sighs> Major corporations are the worst things in the, on the, in this world. Anyone, hey, anyone who wants to defend if you've them, got, if you've got a physical copy of uh, Spec Ops: The Line, oh yeah, the price shit, of the, that price that is going to go, go up now. <laughs> yeah, that price is going to go up now. Uh, it's this is this is why people this is why people don't trust the game industry mm -hmm. with anything. digital owner ownership. Oh, you shouldn't trust them with Any, anything, anything at all. Like, and why there's such a negative pushback whenever anyone in the game industry goes, maybe we go fully digital, maybe we should do that, because this is why games just dis a fucking peer. I mean, personally, the uh, it's the reason why I haven't bought uh, Alan Wake 2. It's because it's only digital. You can't get a physical copy. Oh. And I'm like, I am not. I do not Give trust. Give me a fucking bit. Of I do not trust Sony, nor do I trust Microsoft enough not to pull that game from their things. And I'm just like, uh, no, I do not want to. Yeah. Um, and it's not the first time this has happened. Prime example, again, is Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Mm. They, Ubisoft pulled that. Why? Because the license ran out and they couldn't be asked to renew it. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. You decided to make a game be licensed for the fil film and it was a great game. You fucking keep it on the store. You fucking morons. Because they don't care about their legacies or their history or or like their, their... Yeah, no, they don't even care about their own history. 
Hmm. This is this is the state of the game industry. They don't care even about the the history of that company and what made that company. Well, like, the people at the top don't care. Oh no, that, you, can, you can you can definitely tell that like the people on the ground do. I understand that, but like they they have very little say yeah. in what actually happens. They do they they can sh- they can shout and scream as much as they want, but unfortunately, the people of like Ease Gulliman are literally are literal parasites in the industry and they don't care um yeah so yes physical media is still king because this shit can't happen to physical media Mm. they can pull it from the store yes they can remove them from the shelves yes but if you've bought it they can't take they can't come to your house kick down your door and take your shit well they're they're don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure there's plenty CEOs there's, there's of many, pe- many corporations. Try. They, 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 they'll try. <laughs> there are plenty of CEOs in major corporations that have thought that would be a great idea until their lawyer turns around and goes, yes, until you get slapped with a, a multi-billion dollar lawsuit of breaking and entering, trespassing, and uh, the, 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 the PS to the resistance, mental anguish. Mm. Um, Reet. Moving on. So, Power World. Yes. Quite well. It's obviously, still going on. Obviously, uh, Nintendo, I think they did say that they Nintendo, were... Nintendo, no, the, the Pokemon company, which is partially owned by Game Freak, Nintendo company, I think someone else, Yeah. Um, have said they are looking into it, which is fucking inevitable. <laughs> yeah, which, yeah. Which I, mean, I, I... Like we said last week, there's a there's a picture of basically a blue Eevee with a coat on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But there obviously, obviously there were going to be mods for Power World. Well, yeah, because it's on PC. Out. Obviously, there was going to be mods, and obviously there was going to be Pokemon mods. Yes. Um. So a Pokemon mod, obviously appeared. So, um, Nintendo got involved and was like, "No, you can't have that mod." Yes. That mod has to... So the modder, um, went away, <laughs> and made legally distinct Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Which is quite funny, being in a legally distinct Pokemon game. <laughs> game. Uh, I, I, I'm just tired of people just coming out with absolute fucking hot takes on the internet and posting it as if it's facts. And I'm like, just, just stop. You've got actual criticisms to point out. Do that. Like there are some things that. Or like you say, the blue Eevee with a coat on. Yeah. That's a much better than the blooming sheep with a gun. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Wulu. Yes. Do you want to know why it looks like Wulu? Because Wulu looks like a sheep. <laughs> I I literally like like it's Wulu like, is literally sheep, and that is a literally a sheep. Like you, there are you can't, better. You can't paint a sheep. <laughs> there are better examples you can give than than the ones like fucking the one that looks like Wulu because. I'm sorry to break it, but if you if 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 Nintendo sued over that one, then Nintendo could get sued by everyone who owns a sheep. Mm-hmm. So you've got to just just take a step back and think about it, um, because there will be permutations on if Nintendo sue this company and win. So you don't just go. Oh well, this looks like that because of this. This um, it's like no, just actually think about it. There were better examples. Use those better examples. Uh, so, Power World and the infamous mod that changed its Pokemon-like creatures to actual Pokemon have entered some sort of Inception-style vortex of copyright violating uh, complexity. After Nintendo DMCA'd the living juices out of to- Toasted Shoes mod, uh, the group has returned their work adapted to now fill the game with legally distinct Pokemon creatures. It is uh, sarcasm in gaming form and a spe- spectacular which, middle which finger. Which, considering Power Nintendo. World is a little tongue-in-cheek going after Pokemon as well, it's this is like Inception level fucking. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 you get so so this is a mod, yes, on a game that that has openly said they're a parody of Pokemon, yes, and its mod is a parody of Pokemon. Yes. Wait, what? <laughs> so, no, they, they, they look like Pokemon, but they're legally distinct from Pokemon. Okay. Wait, what? 
But aren't, aren't the aren't the pals already legally did sing for? Yes, but um, yes, but these these wanted to be so close. You get legally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I think the fact that 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 mod exists is actually um shows that there's enough differences in pal world. Maybe not all of them. Because there are some. I don't know. I did see one that it was, um, you know, the the Pokemon that's got like the big. It looks like a like a Brachiosaurus. Yeah. It's yeah. got like the big flower pelt yeah, yeah. on its neck. I basically saw that. Yeah. But it was, it was exactly the, flower, the same. No, 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 no. It had flower petals around its neck. Ah. It was the exact same. I was like, somebody's got to look at that one. <laughs> so someone's got to look at that one. <laughs> The pro- right, so here's another thing in regards to this, right? And the argument of, well, it's, it's, they look so much like Pokemon. Yeah? Do you want to know how many games came out that looked like Street Fighter in the 90s? Mm-hmm. This is what the game industry does. Mm-hmm. This is literally what the game industry does. Dark Souls came out, did Gangbusters. What happened? We started getting a whole bunch of Dark Souls games. Yeah, no, Souls Likes. Something on the top. Yes, I'm quite well as hell. But now we're getting good ones like Code Vein and, mm. and Lies of P. Mm. Like, do you think Lies of P would exist if we didn't have Bloodborne? No, it wouldn't. Yeah. True. Every fucking JRPG. Like, y- this is this is why I'm saying you have to be fucking careful because if you say it's, oh well it's 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 they the, Nintendo should sue them because it's Pokemon it's the style of Pokemon. That is a, that is a minefield. Mm. Like, just think about ev- the amount of games on Steam that have a similar art style to each other. Mm, that's true. Like, and I'm not talking about like just visual novels. Two D platformers. Mm. Um, I think the thing with Power World is there's yeah with some of the pals they are very like legally you they have are, to look at it. Yeah, you like you to get the differences. I think for some of them you actually have to look at them with a microscope yeah and that's that's where I'm coming across this with like now you can say the the EV with a coat on um, the the one that looks like an electric buzz with a minigun yeah that those are the ones I would like yeah point to them because they're more especially like uh, but then again like I don't uh, just to get back to the thing that we were talking about I do like the fact that the, the mod has basically just come back with, with, with the Pokemon mod but they're now legally distinct yeah. it's just like yes this legally is this is, is Cypher but not <laughs> <laughs> this is Pikachu but not but also like it's not just the gaming industry that does this like but like movie industry does it mm-hmm a lot of times you see like uh, uh, an action film. Well, look at eighties action movies. 80s, yeah, they're 80s all action. pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying like you shouldn't criticize the company for copying if they have copied, because you should. You should call out plagiarism when it happens. But there's so the, like the especially the discourse online is so fucking. I don't. The thing is, I don't think there's enough. I mean, there's there is enough differences in the game. I just think there's a few. That, of what I've seen, there's a few pals that are too close. That are a little too, bit too close. Too close there's to not. Concept. There's not a lot. Of, at least of the ones that I've seen. But there's there, there are some that you look at them and you go, "That's a little too close." That's very close to that one. That's like unbelievably close to yeah. that one. Um, the but then there's like the whole thing of people saying, "Oh, it must be AI." And it's like. Can we can we go back to like innocence until proven guilty mm. instead of oh no I I believe you've used AI so you have to prove to me that you, you haven't. haven't used AI and even when you prove to me I will not believe you like just stop it yeah um. <laughs> just stop you there are better things to waste your energy on like if 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 this game has used AI prove it like we said last time prove it. But yeah, back to the mod. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> that is, that is a level of like, oh yeah, we're, okay, fine, we doing this thing. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you. That is a level of fuck you that is quite that high. Is, right. That I have, I, yeah, especially you know, especially when it's against a major corporation like Nintendo. You know, it, it, I do like the whole fuck the man. <laughs> yeah. 
fuck authority, I don't give a shit. Yeah, well done. Yeah, I think um, part of the mod is, like, cause, uh, you could dress like Ash, Ke- <laughs> Ash Ketchum. Um, the mod now basically is, I think it's, it's, it's a purple jacket with a blue hat, but instead of it being backwards, it's forward. Uh, it's, legally it's, distinct. It's, it's almost got the same pattern on, but it's, it's not. <laughs> legally distinct. Legally distinct. <laughs> legally distinct. Like, the thing with, that's the thing with it. Oh, he's got a beard. With the, the, the very fact that someone's able to make a mod that's different enough from the the, the base game that was even closer mm. to Nintendo, to Pokemon, may, is kind of like, well, yeah, if they were ripping one-for-ones, that wouldn't be a thing. Mm. There wouldn't be a need for that mod. No one would want that mod because it's like, well, I've already got it. Mm. I've already got the Pokemon. That are not Pokemon. (laughs) So... I just want Nintendo to either A, come out and go, look, there's there's enough... They are legally distinct from Pokemon. We're not touching this. Mm. Or to sue them and have it end up in court and Mm. or settled or whatever. Right? I want it because then at least... Not the AI stuff because people have just got the hard on for either accusing or using AI mm. and just not budging from those positions. Mm. I watched something on YouTube the other day about AI, about AI art, and where he was, the, the, the guy was basically like uh, saying that using AI art is just as good as normal art. No, it isn't. <laughs> and, and That's what I'm saying. There are people on both camps that are so entrenched, like the anti AI will pick out something that isn't AI and claim it's AI because it looks similar mm. to something else even though it's like yeah but it's an, the, 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 uh, and then there's the AI fucking grifters who are like no these people are just they're just they're just crybabies and they can't get with the times and I'm like mm. can you just fuck off both lots mm. please can you just stop it mm. AI art is still theft because it ha- it's taking other people's art to make that art. It's not like it's using it as an inspiration. It is literally ripping the art and using assets from that art to make another picture. Mm. And then the people who are just jumping down everyone's throats because it potentially could be AI. Can you stop it as well? Can you just take a step back and think and like go, okay, so is this AI? Like take an actual... Th- step back and think because like because back with power world if it is using ai they are breaching steam's terms and conditions Mm. because they're not stating that it's using ai i've looked at the bloody page Mm. it has no mention of ai also by the way power world was first revealed three years ago it's not like this game came out of the fucking blue yeah we knew this game was coming because we mentioned it three years ago when it was revealed mm. and went surely Nintendo were going to have a look at this yeah because even back then we were like, like the electro bo- looks- the, the one that looks like electro buzz was there mm. we, we saw it and we went that's a little bit too close uh, I'm pretty sure they were riding something that looked like Laguna yes as well. that's another one that really people really should focus on on the whole thing of like this is clearly too close yeah uh, but yeah. yeah if you've managed to get that mod well done. Have fun um, with it. Have fun with it. The game's fun. People are enjoying it. I need to actually start because I've got it now. Um, the game is yeah, but the game is. I've seen people. It's it is one. It's not Pokemon. It is Ark Survival, mm. and is just as horrific mm. if you actually think about it as Ark Survival. Mm. Um, and the, the the thing that the thing that makes it look like Pokemon is the style they've chosen. Mm. And that's where you've got to be careful because if you start suing people based on solely a style, oh, I mean Disney's fucked. Well, everyone's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> because um, who owns the style to every Dragon Quest game? Well, you'd have to say that would be Toyama. I know, but like, what, what, you know, like the style that Persona does. There are plenty of games that have the same sort of style as... Mm. Now, there are, there are plenty of legitimate complaints of Power World, of the company, especially the CEO, because his 
philosophy is just to go, I'm just going to take things from other games and make a game. Mm. And that's why I think games should be made. It is very, not very creative. <laughs> mm. But then again, I can't look at him and go, I can't look at here, that guy and go, well, he's he clearly the reason why the gaming industry sucks. It's like, no, he's not. Because he's just doing what EA does. Except EA does it to their own properties. Mm. They just slap on a new coat of paint and call it Madden 25. And Activision. Activision did the same. Yeah, Activision did the same. Ubisoft. Now, um, there was a there was a stream from a game developer who works at... I think it was Riot? Mm. And, he's, and he basically said, when you're making a sequel, or you're making... It, and you don't just... Make everything from scratch. If you can get, if you can make, use those assets in that previous game, do so, because that saved you a lot of time. Because I remember when everyone was really pissed at God of War Ragnarok because it's the same map. And well, use the same animation. For use the same map. Get into the, boat. the boat. Yes, because it's a fucking good animation. Mm. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't you don't need to make new animation. Um, it's just. I just, I just want I just want people to stop getting on the fucking rage wagon. Can can you stop, please? Just take a step. It's back. a bit funny that we're saying that after we've just gone on a giant on a giant tirade about DC. That is actually <laughs> Suicide Squad. In our in our defense, we actually backed it up with actual like logical and reasoning knowledge. and knowledge. Like we weren't just pulling shit out of our ass. Mm. Um, you know, we gave our reasons mm. and not just well, it's bad because it's bad. It's like no, it's bad because of this. Mm. And this, and this, and this, and there's not actual any thought put into it. Because it, if there was any thought put into it, they would understand why this is a bad thing. But anyway. Um, hopefully next week, the Pal World Rage fighting thing on social media will have died well, down. I mean, I was going to talk about the, cause the Xbox had a showcase. Oh yeah, has it? And I was going to talk about that today. Mm -hmm. But in all honesty... Uh, one, I think I got bored about halfway through and stopped watching. Once they stopped, uh, they did this. They did a, they did a thing for the new uh, uh, Legends Legends of Mana. I can't try to remember what the new Mana game is called. I think it's Legends of Mana. Le but Legends there's of Mana. a new Mana game coming. Yeah, they did a thing for that, and the other games I actually can't remember what was on it, and I cannot be bothered to look it up. To look it up. Yeah, at the moment Microsoft, they've. I think they pretty much showed. Hellblade 2 again but it wasn't anything new new that we hadn't already seen oh, so, nor so is there anything there that like that I think they can actually show us without spoiling without really spoiling yeah so I think Senua's um, what's it what's it because it's just Senua's Saga this is Senua's just Saga I think the thing with Senua's Saga they've shown they've shown enough they've shown some gameplay they've shown how the combat works they've shown the style of the game and the, the basic like potential plot mm. per se Without actually what the plot is, and I don't, I think, yeah, I'm happy with them not showing me anymore. Yeah, I, I don't need to see anymore obviously. because it's got, right. it's basically given me everything I needed to. The, the yeah. one thing, the one thing I didn't have until the last lot that they showed was, what's the gameplay? How's mm. the gameplay? Is it going to be like the last one? Have they made any changes? Blah blah blah. And they have shown enough of that in the last one for me to go, okay, fine, I'm good. You don't need to tell me anything else because um, that, yeah. that, that game is going to be very heavily reliant on its plot and its storytelling. But other than that, I really can't remember and I'm not really interested. Nothing. I know I know, I'm know, not interested in the other games. Yeah. And there's nothing shouting out at the moment from anything else. It was quite funny though because I remember, like, because obviously they did, the, they did a big thing for Legends of Mana. Everybody was like putting up saying that our oh, Legends of Mana is going to be a day one Game Pass, day one Game Pass, Game Pass. Game Pass. So much so that Xbox has had to come out and go, no, it's not going to be. On it's not because it's Square Enix. Yeah, because it's Square Enix. I could have told you that it's Square Enix. <laughs> <laughs> there is one game company that will never have anything day one Game Pass, and that is Square Enix. Why? Because it's Square Enix, mm. and fuck you. I mean, Final Fantasy might be on the premium, but that's mainly because Sony pay. Yeah, that's because Microsoft will have paid them a lot of money. Yeah, that's why uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is only on uh, PlayStation for console, because Sony paid them. Yeah, a lot of money. <laughs> paid them a lot of money to make the game. Yeah. 
Um, uh, but yeah, uh, it's been a very negative week again because it's the game industry and they don't seem to like good news. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, good, unless it's the community that's actually making the good news. Yeah, uh, well, hopefully next week with the state of play, um, we've got something to talk about. Yeah, I'm hoping uh, Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth will be round the corner. It's at the end of the month. End of the month. End so, of February. Uh, February twenty eighth. Yeah. yeah, February twenty eighth. Uh, but Persona is out on Friday. Ooh, Persona three. Mm -hmm. I have. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting. F I, do you know what? I am waiting for the news news outlets to get a hold of that game and and the the uh, people who don't actually play games get really really upset about the how you summon your personas in that game. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. I'm oh, waiting no. for it. To be fair, like if they're game journalists and they're going to play a remake of a game from well, it was PS2 somewhere. I want to say late mid two thousands, mid two thousands. No, yeah, but, uh, early two thousands, yes, mid two thousands. Yes, but this is the game journal, isn't it? Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is, like, if they're if they're gonna do a, <laughs> they're gonna do a thing about about this and then complain about how the way you should in a game that came out in like early two thousands. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, but when did when would that have ever stopped them before? True. We're talking about the game journalists, the so called game game journalists. That's a good good point. Don't get me wrong. I'm probably completely wrong. It'll probably just be brushed. It'll probably be a no nothing burger, which will be great. It'll be right. It'll be a nothing burger in like the reviews and that. But you'll get like um, articles later on. Oh god! About yeah. the problematic uh, way of summoning personas in Persona Three. Persona Three is very depressing. Yes, that's the point. Yes, <laughs> it's the point of the game. Yeah, it's the, it's the whole the theme. The theme of, of, the, of the game is depression. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole theme of the game is depression and losing. To and like fighting pro, uh, hmm. depression but anyway I think uh, yeah, we'll leave it there we'll leave it there yeah um, um, I do hope you've enjoy enjoyed this chat especially our tirades about uh, why I do I do apologise about the tirade of, of Suicide Squad I promised myself I wasn't going to do it but I, I couldn't the minute I mentioned it I couldn't yeah that was I it that train, that train left the station there was no stopping it yeah we were going on this ride until the destination it's to be honest, it is Rocksteady's fault. They should they, they, they should know better. They should they should do. They should it's know ridiculous. Better. You can't write a story set in a universe which has all these things in it. That you think, made. And no and then and then think like well hold on. <laughs> and think that everything's gonna be fine if you just kill things. Kill the like the four most powerful members of a hero team and there's going to be no repercussions? Like I understand, like the, the I understand the whole like Amanda Waller wanting them dead because it's Amanda. But it's Waller. Amanda Waller. Like she's a she she's a hard nosed B I T C H. Well, she's a megalomaniac. And she the, wants yeah. to she wants to control everything. Yeah, like it's in character for Amanda Waller to do that. But you know, wanting to do it and actually being able to do it are two usually two totally separate things. Uh, anyway, anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this chat, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Toodles.